Okay, so this is Rachel and on the behalf of Stefan, this is our blog hey. and we are in Bath. So this is an introduction to what the blog's going to be about. It's going to be about what we did, where we ate. <coughs> so we've done many things in this trip. We've gone on a boat trip yesterday and then that resulted in us seeing these wooden canoes didn't it? and we just looked up the website and we booked it in because we thought there's something to do and it's something we wouldn't do at home we never do things like this together do we usually it's just like the same old so we thought yeah we'll do something different we'll go out on a boat have you got anything to say so <laughs> tonight we are going for more dinner. This trip has comprised of a lot of food, which we will show you. Mainly cake and lots of like vegan restaurants, which also we don't get at home. So it's been really, we've been spoiled for choice of things to do, things to eat. You know, you don't need to go abroad to have a good time. You, you, there's so much within England that you don't realize. Don't you think? Yeah, no, I agree. And you know, you, you have everything on your doorstep, almost. So we're definitely going to do more staycations, I think, in the future. We're right now in a river where I'm obviously <laughs> managing to row a boat here but hey i'm not born natural but hey um i think i'm doing pretty uh pretty good at the moment rachel here is filming and it's a beautiful day today what do you think rachel i love it so what have you ever done rowing before i have not done rowing but you know what this is pretty good i mean I, i'm enjoying it it's not as hard as it looks it takes a little slight coordination and also a good steerer <laughs> aka steerer to not run into bushes and we've been eating donuts uh, i love donuts oh god stefan's great rowing skills <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so we just came back from the boat and yeah, it was, I thought it was pretty cool. What did you think, Rachel? I really enjoyed it and Stefan almost killed us a few times with his <laughs> very terrible driving skills. Yeah, uh, those trees are tricky and the K-turn, gosh, if you, if you are learning how to drive on the U-turn, don't do it on a boat. <laughs> that is, that makes it 10 times more difficult. But yeah, um, so what are we doing next, Rachel? What's, what's the next plan on the agenda? for a coffee. And a beer. <laughs> or maybe a gin and tonic. Yep. <laughs> After having donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, hey. You heard the plan. So, yep. Uh, we'll get back to you. <laughs> He is in heaven. What's it doing? Why is it scratching all on the floor? <laughs> is it like this cactus 
Probably. Okay, so. so we just walked back from the boat place. We managed to walk for about 30 minutes and we admired the views of the wedge. So as you can probably see behind us as well. Yeah. We have some nice views out here. This is uh, actually where the boat ride starts, right that way, and it goes that way. So, yeah. So now we are going to go on a pub crawl, but we'll show you the way. Oh, well, yeah. Also, there's a really great place called the Beer Crow. Also, they have some of the really good, like, unique style beers as well. So definitely something I recommend checking out. Okay, uh, well, tune in next. We just went for a little walk, we went into the market and we had a cup of tea because I'm literally so tired. Yeah. And we're trying to resist the urge to eat more. I know Stefan and me are both quite trying. tempting. We just can't stop eating. Like we never eat this much at home. Usually we just have three meals a day. But here it's just I think it's because you know you're away and you can let your hair down really. So we're gonna cross over here and show you some of the things that we have been doing, which is the vegan restaurant the ice cream place and the baths but we're just going to oh. walk over there and also just uh also dad on that they have really good at the the baths market they have really good what do they have pastries. spring rolls pastries what, they what had those? a giant beer, beer jars what are they called bargies bargies i can never say that right and they had a giant spring roll huge they're massive but yeah And you can hire it for like hen parties and bachelor parties, so it's quite cool. Yeah, so if you ever need a stag do, here's a place to do it. Found the bar. So we had it here the other day. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to get footage in there. I think it's due to privacy, so... Which can... makes sense. I mean, you're relaxing. You don't want people taking selfies, you know, disrupting the vibe. So we're there now to show you what it looks like from the outside and how to get there, because we couldn't find the entrance. We walked. I think Stefan thought it was behind here. And I was like, no, it's up front. <laughs> you just kept walking round and round. Well, but it's quite concealed, I'll tell you. It's not where you think it is. So, this is the entrance. It's just around here. One second, one second. So, yeah. But it's definitely worth the experience going in the baths. Although when we went, we went with the virus really disrupting things. So it didn't have all the mineral type baths and things like that. But it's still worth the wait, uh, worth the, you know, going there. What do you think? I think I loved it. Especially if you go on the roof, it's really cool because you have, you can be like literally chilling in a thermal pool on top of the roof. Everyone's just walking and around. And you can see that. It's like being in, like, yeah, it's like being, it's like in the Roman times. It's, it's like being in incredible experience. 
but yeah, definitely recommend it. If you go to baths, I think that's probably like a must thing that you should do here. Yeah. Uh, I know, but I would make a reservation early because it is always very booked. It's and good from a cold. Yeah, so I definitely recommend it. See you later. Yeah. Hey y'all. So we've ended up in, well, the funny story is we've ended up in the Greyhound Inn in Wilton. <laughs> and the reason we came here was because Stefan wanted to see Stonehenge. But Stefan didn't look at the opening times mm, or admissions. Yeah. So the last admission is at 2.30 on a Sunday. And, and it is 2 o'clock. We're not going to make it. So we're, we're not even going. So we're going to make the most of this town and we're going to go into yeah. Salisbury, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, what did you want to do? No, yeah, they say they have the Magna Carta here and things like that. So, hey, why not make the use of it? Uh, you know, have a nice English Sunday roast dinner and some drinks. Yeah, so again, we're going to explore the town a little bit. Make this time, then we'll come back probably for, I don't know, another trip by. We'll kind of make it over here and catch a glimpse at the Stonehenge. And then tomorrow we've got to be up early because we're going paddle boarding. So. Oh, yeah, her favorite. She, she can't wait to go paddle boarding. So we will keep you posted on what we get up to tonight. Yeah, and also we we'll can kind of show you around the room in a second. Can kind I of show you um, what hotel it's we at? Uh, the Greyhound Inn. The Greyhound Inn, I really recommend it. Really nice, cozy area. A really nice, cozy, you know, uh, really kind of like vintage place. Yeah, I definitely would check it out. Get that away from me! Rachel is very hangry at the moment. No, I wanted a roast. And they didn't have any vegan options. They had a salad! Do you look like rabbits? <laughs> Hmm. 
Babe, what's going on in your mind right now? What song's stuck in your head? The potato song. Sing it for us. This is our second to last day here in our or during our vacation here. And yeah, so we are currently at what was the name of the hotel again? The Grey Inn. Yes, the Grey Inn. Um again I'll show you some footage of the hotel and just a couple of seconds at least the little pub garden that we were were at but again. Uh, we had last night some really nice drinks. Yeah, we had some really good gin and uh beer with Santa Maria. Really good stuff. And then, yeah, uh, Rachel. And we're gonna head into the Cotswolds. I liked it here. It wasn't crazy about the town, though. Yeah, the town was. I think most people come here more for, I guess, Stonehenge the and the pubs. Yeah, too. and pubs here. But I mean, it's still a nice, charming town. I mean, yeah. So I still enjoyed it. But yeah, uh, so off to the Cotswolds. What has it said? Cotswold. Cotswold. Cotswolds. And yeah. Uh, so that's the plan. Again, we're going to do some paddle boarding because, again, Rachel is very insistent that we do this instead of canoeing and we're having a video recording of a video recording, apparently. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really not in the mood to talk to you. <laughs> hey, at least she's a very honest person. <laughs> Either way. Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan. And after that, what, we're going to the beach, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to a man-made beach. Uh, nevertheless, it's nothing less spectacular than what a typical beach would be. So yeah, and we, again, better, we better head off. Yeah, and we better head off. So See again, ya. that's our cue. Again, um, yeah, keep it posted. Okay, so again, as a little update here, we are going, we have arrived at the, the Cotswold. Cotswold World. Got it right this Cotswold time. Cotswold Water Park. Yeah, how long has it been since we've been here? Six months. Six months? Again, we're not addicts at any, not addicts you know, with this place at all. And we're getting married here, so we thought we'd just come here before we get married and just see how everything is. Exactly, and you know what? We just saw it, actually, this is out of order. But uh, yeah, we just kind of uh, looked at the venues, kind of, and uh, yeah, so again, we'll kind of show you a little bit about what at least the ceremony room's going to, at least the area, not how it's going to exactly look like, but more or less, you know, where it's going to be. And yeah, but again, we'll this is show really, you some footage from it. Yeah, this is a massive place, but again, a very beautiful area. We are veterans here. We've been here, this is our fourth time, and we can't go away from it. So again, we'll uh, keep it posted. Shortly, we're going to be doing our canoeing or paddle boarding. Uh, again, more information on that, but yeah, again, uh, stay tuned.
Yeah, they are our friends. Oh, we're, not that, we're not crazy, babe. You're radicals. I love them more and I wish I could rescue them, but obviously I can't. You know what? We do our part by what we do. We right. go to the sanctuaries and we support them, don't we? Yeah, exactly. And that's retreat. all. That's all we can do, yeah, the retreat. We yeah. need to go back there. Yeah. Are they open? Yeah. Okay. okay, great. Do nothing legal here. Again, beautiful countryside though. Another bed and breakfast. Okay. Hi everyone. So we were just at, we just had lunch. Uh, we had a little late lunch here. Uh, we went to the paddle wild, boarding. no, well, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, so we did go uh, paddle boarding. We couldn't get any footage though because we forgot the waterproof cover. Yeah, as I said earlier. But yeah, it's okay though. Again, um, you didn't just miss much. We were just both trying to stand up on the board and us falling. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, Rachel was a pro at it. She was actually the better one of us both. So yeah, uh, it was a good time. Uh, also, we went to, where did we go? To the water, Waterside Cafe. Really excellent place, a little slow when it comes to service. But again, other than that, I thought the food was incredible. They had an avocado tamahe, which was really good. Just avocado sandwich with tomatoes on it. And Rachel, what did you have? Falafel wrap. Yeah, so again, really good stuff. And We're yeah. looking for a farm and some in the beer. Yeah, well, oh, and we didn't tell you. So we did have to kind of change our path a little bit. Uh, we did have original plans to go to the beach. Well, obviously, as you can see, this is not the beach. <laughs> uh, yes, so apparently it's not open on Wednesdays or it's not open today. So whatever the case is, uh, we're just kind of looking for a nice little countryside walk, looking at some animals because we do love animals. And yeah, so again, uh, I will uh, kind of Show a little picture, kind of capture some video of just generally our countryside experience here. Keep you tuned. You like the countryside? Yeah. I prefer it to London. Yeah, me too. Something I like having options back in London. But at the same time, it's always great just to have a time to relax a little bit, you know, to unwind. And have a gin. And gin, obviously. Because we're in the UK. Why not? Yeah, but it's something if you didn't know about us. We really do, we're not like those type of people that just love being in cities. For us, obviously we're supposed to be in Greece or we're not. But if we had the option, our second option would be just on the countryside, wouldn't it? We've come here many times. Like yeah. Five times. <laughs> We're always here. We're always here. And also, she has family that also lives in the countryside too. So, again, we never kind of, we, we see it more as, a, as, as an escape, you know? From reality. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> She's trying to make me step in poop. Thank you for tuning in with our travels, and we hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, again, uh, some recommendations, do you have any like, recommendations for trips? Because one thing that we found out in our trip is actually it was worth the idea of, instead of spending a week in one place, to divide it into three places. It was more of a hassle to book three hotels in a week. But if you do it on booking.com, it's quite straightforward. And the thing is, you get you explore more areas. After four days in a place, or three days, you kind of get bored or you get lazy. So it kind of forces you to have that sense of enthusiasm and looking at different places. So one thing that we were kind of talking about is just, again, don't be afraid to book three, you know, three hotels in different areas. Again, I mean, once, of course, have like one main, you know, one main area for like, you know, a couple of days, another place be smaller places, but 
again, just some things that we found out from our experience here. Well, again, uh, thank you for kind of really tuning in uh, to this video. Uh, remember to smash a like on that video and uh, subscribe. Uh, we're going to do more videos like this yeah. uh, where we're going to again do blogs, also do it, things about tech, uh, Let's Plays, and Rachel will be talking about um, what you can talk about in your videos. Food and environmental things. Yeah, okay, sounds great. Well, uh, with that said, thanks for tuning in and have a great day. Thank you.